Alright, yo, what's good everyone? Nick Smith is back. In this episode, we're going to be simulating a couple games um, until Paul George comes back, and then we're going to hop into a game, or we're just going to play a game. Two to four weeks, he should be right by the Miami game, I hope, I hope, I hope. We lost the 76ers? God, and the Bucks. And the Wizards? Really? I don't know if we're going to lose, man. We went, we, we started off this series on a 9-0. I'm going to blame it on myself. We started on the series on a 9-0 winning streak. Now, we just lost five in a row and we're 9-5. Don't want Ty Lawson. Don't want Ty Lawson. We won! Yes! We won! Okay. We got, and then we lose to the Lakers. Really? Really, 2K? Come on, Paul George, please. Okay, this is not Paul George, but this is the scouting report. None of my guys are fully scouted yet, so um, I guess I'll scout the exact same guys um, and wait till they're fully scouted, I guess. But, um, Miles Turner, Jared Bayless, I'm good. Man. Paul George. PG. 13, come back, please. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. We won against the Clippers, which is nice. Um, let's do plus offensive, defensive awareness. Mind trick. Let's do the mind trick pitch. Because that... That will work in free agency, right? Yeah. Um, I'll do that. Because I want to sign a good player in free agency. So yeah, I'll do that. Please, Paul George. Are you back? Are you back, PG? Paul George, come back. Please. No, you're not back. Okay. Okay, Paul George. I'm waiting on you right now. We, we, we're winning some games. We're going to lose to the Warriors, but we're, we're, we're winning some games, which is nice. Because we, we got a little bit of a slump in at the start of this episode, and now we're winning a few games, which is awesome. Um, but I do want to play a game. Yeah! Woo! PG, he's back, baby! He's back! The return, again, he's back! And now, we're going to get Mike Miller out of this lineup. But he's back! PG! So now I can stop simulating. Uh, PG, you want to increase the intent? I mean, you just came back from injury. Do I want to face up against? Nah, let's let's do a rivalry right now. We're, we're, we're doing a Miami Heat, Indiana Pacer rivalry. So, if you guys... No! Come on! You can play through the injury. You can play through the... You're, you're coming off the bench anyway, so you can play through it. Um, but... I'm gonna I'm gonna adjust the training on Paul George, and I'm gonna face up against the Miami Heat. So I'm not gonna do a live commentary of this because I don't really feel like it. I'm gonna post com this, but I hope you guys enjoy the video. Please, if you guys did, leave a like on the video, and let's hop in to the Miami Heat game. Peace. So here we are, up against the Miami Heat in this game. You know, we're going to have to step it up. Only problem for the Heat is, they don't have Dwayne Wade. I don't know where he is. I think he must be injured, but that's a bit of an issue for the Miami Heat. Especially when they're going up against your boy in the Indiana Pacers, Paul George. He's a beast. And they got the young boy Justice Winslow on Paul George. Now, we know that Justice is a great defensive player. And look at Kenneth. He's putting on that defensive show right there, getting those two blocks. But yeah, Justice Winslow getting that lab right there. But uh, we all know that Justice is a great defensive player. He does contest that shot, but you know, Paul George is too good on the offensive end. And Danny Granger, this is the first game that I've played with Danny Granger. He starts us off getting the mid-range shot to go. We brought him in to see what he can do. First game I've played with Danny Granger, so I might be a little rusty with Danny Granger. We're going to have to see how he plays, but... Just, just watch Danny Granger throughout this episode. He does miss that alley-oop slam, so I had to fast forward right there. We did get a defensive stop, and on the next possession, Danny Granger 
finally gets the slam dunk, the alley oop. That was nice right there. We tried once, failed. Tried again, got it to go. The alley oop slam by Danny Granger. You know he he's like old in this series. I don't know how he got up to slam that home, getting the alley oop slam, but that was nice. Kenneth getting the slam dunk right there and getting off on a pick and roll, throwing it down with the alley oop slam. Kenneth, that's his game right there. Just the pick and rolls and the alley oops and the dunks. I mean that's that's why I love Kenneth. And then also he he started off this game getting some blocks as well. Chris Bosch flops right there. Kenneth doing a sick reverse, uh, sick reverse layup right there. That was kind of cool. I didn't even know he had that in his arsenal right there. We play some good defense. Danny Granger gets the rebound, kicks it up to George Hill, down to the <laughs> the pineapple hair, down to Ellis with Paul George for the slam. Monte Ellis putting on some work right there on Bino Udry, getting that easy layup to go. Pumped him and then got it to go right there. This man, Danny Granger. Steps back from downtown, hand down, man down. It's Indiana. He's got to step it up. Anybody remember when Danny Granger lost his front teeth? That was crazy. Paul George gets denied by Hassan Whiteside. That would have been the most insane dunk in NBA 2K16 that I've ever done, but he did miss that slam, which was annoying. Hassan got the block, and I was like, damn you, Hassan Whiteside. And this is what I'm really happy about. The man Kenneth Reed is actually, you know, he's taking some mid-range shots and he's getting him to the full. With only a 64 mid-range, he started the series, I think, on a 59 mid-range or something like that. So I'm, I'm, ha I'm really happy that the training is working out for Kenneth Reed because he, yeah, he got that mid-range to go, which is pretty good. Feeds it off to Jared Cunningham. Never doubt my decision to, to trade for Jared Cunningham. This boy, Jared Cunningham, is a monster. Danny Granger on the block right there. Who's running? That's right, it's Jared Cunningham who slams it down once again. I'm telling you, this man, Jared Cunningham, is a beast. He feeds Danny Granger with the and one on Birdman. You know Birdman doesn't like the paces. We all know that. And look at that handshake between Danny Granger and Paul George. This is like passing the torch right now. Paul George, he's the superstar. Danny Granger, he's the old man that uh, that can give some advice. Although, that's what he used to do. Now Paul George is, you know, becoming that superstar player. And Gerald Green throws it down on his old team. Look at that right there. I mean, we all know that Gerald Green obviously did play for the Indiana Pacers before. So, yeah. In the, uh, in the last episode, we brought back some Indiana guys. Kenneth Reed getting that block right there. Miles Turner down to Danny Granger. Hand down, man down. That's another three for Danny Granger. He's putting on a show for Indiana. Hassan Whitesay gets the mid-range to go. Three and a half minutes left in this game. Now make it a six-point game with Paul George hitting that three. But yeah, in the last episode, we got some Indiana Pacer guys. We got Joe Green, former Indiana Pacer. Uh, we got uh, Danny Granger, another former Indiana Pacer guy. So it's pretty good. I like the old Indiana Pacer guys coming back to join the, uh, the new look Indiana Pacers. And like I said in my last video, I think it was... But I want you guys to comment down below, should I relocate to, you know, the Indiana Pacers to a different city? Or should I just do a new rebrand of Indiana where we, you know, make a new court, make some new jerseys, make some new logos and things for Indiana? Um, instead of having to, you know, relocate Indiana, we can just make the Indiana Pacers, just make them, you know, with some new jerseys and a new court. I think that would be even cooler than just, you know, relocating, because I don't think Indiana's going to relocate anytime soon. So yeah, with Paul George getting this slam dunk to go, that's pretty much the game, and we beat the Miami Heat. Raman accidentally right there, but yeah, we beat the Miami Heat 67 to 79. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Danny Granger was a beast for me. He went 5 for 7, 13 points, 2 rebounds, but you can't forget about those 3 blocks. Paul George obviously doing a Paul George game, 29, 5, and 7 with 2 steals. Uh, Fareed, 11 points, 6 rebounds, 2 blocks. Jordan Hill, uh, he played alright. Jared Cunningham dropped 5 points. We had uh, Monte Ellis, 4 points, 5 assists. Miles Turner with 4 rebounds and 3 blocks. But yeah, I'm out. Leave a like for the next episode. Peace!